And Alpha 50 is someone that has dreams of Alfa Romeo pretty much constantly. And those dreams become a reality when they actually get in those cars and drive them. Any Alfisti would rather be driving an Alfa Romeo than looking at an Alfa Romeo, even though looking at it is just as beautiful. My name is Brandon Adrian, and my heart and soul is Alfa Romeo. I was uh, in my mother's womb on the way to the hospital in a uh, 73 GTV, and I came back in the hospital in that same car. The thing about Alfa Romeo is that it grabs your soul. It's a, such a beautiful, visceral, elegant, powerful brand, and it all goes back to the racing heritage. And so I knew that whatever was inside of my soul and the Alfa soul, you know, we became one. I wanted to relive these cars' uh, eras and their heydays with the actual cars. I mean, that's nothing more special than motor art. Alfa is the mother to Ferrari, because Enzo Ferrari, he had a non-compete with Alfa Romeo. He could race cars, and in the 30s, they were Alfa Romeos that were raced by Ferrari. And they did, they did very well, but at the end of the day, they were Alfa Romeos, and Ferrari came later. And so I think in the modern age, people don't recognize the early nature of Alfa Romeo and the significance um, of their pedigree and you know, their racing history. I actually much prefer to be at the racetrack than uh, the concours. Uh, if there's an opportunity between the two, I'll always pick the racetrack because that's where my passion and, and fun lies. But these cars can do both. As of the histories of these cars, people appreciate that and they like to see them as well. And so the right events, the special events where um, you know, we think they'll really be appreciated, absolutely we'll, we'll bring them out and, and show them off. Collectors from all over the world go to Amelia Island and they go to enjoy these beautiful cars from every manufacturer or marquee. Last year we had the Alfa Romeo Giulietta Spider Veloce Sebring on display for everyone to see. It came back to Florida for really its first time. And Amelia Island really does a special job of creating an aura of uh, history. I look forward to that every year. you know, even in the 30s, they would take cars that had full bodies on them, beautiful voluptuous fenders, and they would go out and race them. People don't realize that, that a car could be luxury and a race car at the same time. Perfect example is this new Julia. This is a car that um, is just gorgeous to look at, and it is luxurious in, in the different trims that it comes in, and in the Quadrifoglio, it's just a hands-out street-legal race car. I think the Quadrifoglio that people are now learning a lot more about, when they see the history and then they can get out and compete with pretty much anything, that redefines luxury in a new way for Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo and the designers that built these cars definitely had a 
different philosophy um, than most car makers. They wanted these cars to be outrageously beautiful, eye-catching. They wanted them to you know, capture your, your spirit and your soul. I think you see that throughout the generations of Alfa Romeo's. The sound that they make and the driving experience is like no other. I mean, you get into an Alfa Romeo, you know it's an Alfa Romeo, and everything kind of comes into one from sight, sound, and your overall feeling and aura as you're driving the car. And that goes through the new cars, the 4C and the Giulia, as well as cars like the Giulietta, Spider Veloce, and uh, the GTAs. Alfa Romeo has magic, and that magic has been sprinkled upon us. I've had the, the blessing of 40 years of having that fairy dust, you know, with me.